Lunar Client. In this video, we're going to show you how to download and install Lunar Client as well as get it up and running for a few different versions of Minecraft because it is a very diverse sort of setup. What is Lunar Client? Well, it adds in some mods to Minecraft basically, but it adds them in a very cool way and makes them compliant with some servers. For example, Hypixel has their own sort of setup for this that is legal over there. You can also see here it allows you to get more FPS and all that stuff, which is pretty cool as well. Boosted frames, that's awesome. It's also a single install, which is pretty simple, but overall, that is a, another selling feature. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and get it downloaded. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link in the description down below. That's going to take you here. This is the download page for Lunar Client. Go on the download button under Windows here, and when you do that, the download will start off right away. They also have an install video. You can watch that if you want, or you can watch this one. That's why you're here after all, probably, so I'm assuming you're going to watch this one. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and minimize our browser, and to find Lunar Client, it's going to be in your downloads folder, most likely. Click on the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, bottom of your screen, or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11, and yes, this does work in Windows 11. Go ahead and type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder and in here you'll have a Lunar Client. I recommend dragging this to your desktop. That's not required, but it's what I like to do. Double click on Lunar Client. Agree to their EULA if you do, and I do. So let's click agree and boom, it's going to install. It's that simple to get Lunar Client installed. Once it is installed, you can delete the .exe file, the Lunar Client here from your desktop, because you have this new nice shortcut here, which can be used to open up Lunar Client, right? Let's say we closed out of it, double click on the shortcut there, and boom, it is now open. Now, as you can see, 1.8.9 is ready to launch, and that's what you're probably going to use on most servers, right? But if you want to switch versions, you can do so by clicking right here. There's the 1.19 version, for example, 1.17, 18, 16, 1.12, and 1.7. So if you want to switch to any of these, for example, if you wanted to switch to 1.12, click on 1.12 there, and then come back over to home, and there you go, it is ready to launch. If you wanted to play 1.19, click on it there, come back over to home, and it is ready to launch. I did mention servers though, as you can see if we click on servers, there's all of these different servers, including Lunar's very own server, the Lunar Network, Viper NC, PvP Legacy, Mine Club, GLMC, and so many more, but Hypixel, it's probably why you're here. So if you go ahead and click play, it does go ahead and download and get things ready to go, launching right on into Hypixel. Now, doing this for your first launch can actually, uh, how do I put this, cause some issues. The reason being, you've not logged into your account yet, right? So as you can see, it's starting, it is going to open up, but when you get in game, uh, it won't join right into the server like it normally would because you've uh, not signed into Minecraft. You need to do that first. So let's go ahead, let this download, let this get going, and then once it is, we will go ahead and log in. So as you can see, it says fail to connect to server. If we go back to a server list here, this is where we can actually log in, right? The reason that failed is because we've not logged in yet. You can click on the top left up here and you see invalid session. That's normal as well. Go ahead and click plus and then sign in. Let's go ahead and click sign in with Microsoft or if you haven't migrated your account yet, I believe on older versions, you may be able to sign in as well. I know I have been in the past, but it seems like now it's kind of like promoting sign in with Microsoft. So let's go ahead and do that. Sign in with our Microsoft account and then we'll be able to play. There we go. We have now logged in. As you can see, your new account has been successfully added and you can see we are logged in in the top. If we go to a multiplayer, it might ask you to allow access here. Go ahead and click public and private networks and allow access. Now, these servers are actually pulled from my Minecraft game, right? So if we want to join Hypixel right away, we can close out of this, Lunar Client reopens up, and just click play on Hypixel. It doesn't have to download as much stuff, still does have to download a few things, and now we will join right on into Hypixel because we logged into our account. So that is the thing that you'll need to do there, is from the main menu, click on log in. And that's no matter what, that's even if you're playing single player without joining straight into like Hypixel, for example. So there you go, Minecraft is open, and we are logging right on into Hypixel. Boom, summer sale, awesome stuff. I don't play on Hypixel 2 regularly, but here I am, and we are in game. Hi, Pixel. There it is. Awesome stuff. Now we can disconnect and close out of this. What if you don't want to join any of these servers, though? Well, you can go to home and, like I said, select the version you want. For example, if you wanted to play on 1.8, which is actually their most popular version, 1.8.9, you can do so. I do want to mention, though, if you go to settings here, you can also change some cool settings about the Lunar Client. So we can go ahead and hide the launcher. We can change the directory it's installed in. You can add more or less RAM, right? And it won't let you add more than your computer has, but truthfully, you shouldn't probably add more than like half of the total RAM of your computer to the Lunar Client. You can also set your resolution, which I've done previously to 1920 by 1080. That's the best for videos, in my opinion, but there are presets you can select from here as well. You can also go ahead and select experimental branch. I wouldn't recommend doing that unless you really like testing like stuff on beta, for example, but overall, that can be done. Nevertheless, at this point, if we go back to home, we can launch 1.8.9, and now it's going to open up with 1.8.9 installed and all the awesome mods that they have for 1.8.9. It is going to have to re-download some stuff, but that's perfectly normal and kind of part of the process. While it is downloading, you can also purchase things from their store, which uh, if you click that link will open up in your browser here. And 
here's how you can actually support the Lunar Client. They make all their revenue from this store here. You can see you have the Lunar Plus as well, the emotes, pets, all this kind of cosmetics that anyone else using the Lunar Client can see if you're using in-game. Nevertheless though, Let's go ahead, let this open up, and we'll show you what 189 looks like, and then we'll kind of be done. That's the Lunar Client. So here we are, Lunar Client is opening with 189. There seems to be some issues with me not running this full screen, and that is uh, in the preloading, which is what we're getting right now. Uh, in the bottom right is where the, there it is, it ports to the middle. Nevertheless, though, we're in 189 now. We should still be logged in, which we are, right? You can also add additional accounts here if you want, so you can actually easily switch accounts in Lunar Client, which is one of the coolest features of this, basically, Sweet or this client, if you will. What would we call it? Is it a mod pack? I don't know. But we can jump into single player. I'm going to create a new world here, uh, which is 1.8.9. And truthfully, this is meant to be used on like 1.8.9 faction servers and stuff like that. Not in single player, but uh, I wanted to show it off in single player because why not? You can see Optifine's installed in the top left up here because, well, that's how our FPS is showing. You can also see that we can see our coordinates and our biome right in the top left as well. We also have a compass sort of thing at the top, which shows our exact degree that we're looking at, as well as if it's like east, southeast, south, so on and so forth. If you go ahead and hit the escape button here, we can go into options and video settings. There are all of our Optifine settings there. We go into controls. There are also some other controls and things we can look at, for example, for you know different streaming and all sorts of stuff that you can do with Lunar Client. Right there it is. Create waypoints, all sorts of stuff like that. So it seems like we have a, uh, a mini-map style mod in here if we can create a waypoint. And yes, we can. So we can go ahead and do that by uh, coming in here and creating different waypoints. Can you create waypoints to do this? Or was that the... I hit M. So this is where we can see all the mods that are installed. Oh, and you can disable and enable mods there as well. That's my bad. So we can see the clicks per second, for example, the skyblock add-ons, adding these or disabling these. And again, this is accessed via the M menu in game. And clicking on mods. There we go. Boom. And high pixel, right? Do we want high pixels mods enabled or disabled? We can do that. Bed words, disabled, enabled. We can do that. All with one click. And it's honestly really, really cool. <laughs> but uh, if you do want to do more things with waypoints, we can click up here at the top. And I believe they can be added. Uh, let's see, how do, you, how do you add in waypoints? I'm having some struggle there. Um, I think it was, what, what was the key to do this? Ah, yes, in. There we go. And now we can create a waypoint. We'll call this spawn and save it. And there we go. We now have a waypoint. As you can see, there it is. As we go farther away and into lava, <laughs> as we go farther away, we will be able to see that spawn waypoint. There it is right there. Awesome stuff. So that is kind of an overview of the Lunar Client. The biggest thing is once you're in game, you can hit M and select exactly what you want, right? These are also different, basically, profiles. So if you want to do like Arena PvP, you can select that and it will select all the mods for that. Same thing with High Pixel Skyblock. You can select that and it will do the same thing. UHC and then default as well. You can also create your own profiles by changing all this stuff, right? Enabling FPS and then saving a new profile and renaming it. We can save this FPS, right? So there you go. That's how you can do all that. It's very complex, but also very simple at the same time. There's also additional settings that you can change here as well. Recommend looking through those, but that's how you can get Looter Client. At this point, it's kind of up to you as to how you want to customize it and change things. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. We'll see you in the next video, and I'm out. Peace.